Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we are showcasing the 10 best dungeon themes in Zelda games. For this list, we'll be looking at the best tracks heard in Zelda dungeons that improve each area's atmosphere. Which track do you think made its dungeon memorable? Share your love in the comments below. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Forest Temple Theme the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time The Forest Temple is one of the most distinct locations in Ocarina of Time, an eerie, abandoned mansion overrun with nature and monsters hidden deep within the Lost Woods. Its theme is fittingly mysterious and otherworldly, giving the sense that Link has stumbled upon something lost to time. The percussive instrument sounds like wooden wind chimes, and the slow synth tones are haunting. The signature melody is delivered through a flute-like instrument and chanting that is both unnerving and melodic. It emphasizes the woodland setting and feelings of loneliness and getting lost. Considering where it's found and its disorienting layout, the track is the perfect accompaniment for the temple. <laughs> Sanctuary Dungeon Theme the Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. The theme heard in the first three dungeons of A Link to the Past is the very definition of iconic. Slow paced with no percussion, the track simulates strings that give a spooky, dangerous vibe. The somberness impresses the dire situation of the overall plot. However, in a fantastic clash of tone, the trumpet lends the song a bit of heroism. It implores you to succeed while still invoking a sense of peril. The theme heard in the Dark World dungeons also deserves recognition as its quick paced strings expertly put you on edge. But the Sanctuary dungeon theme is such an incredible composition that it has stuck with us for years. Earth Temple Theme The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword <laughs> Located in a volcano, Skyward Sword's Earth Temple is comprised of massive caverns filled with lakes of molten lava. Just like the dungeon, this track is hot. The upbeat percussion and strongly strummed guitar notes will immediately get your toes tapping. And the main woodwind hook burrows into your brain where it will live long after you beat the boss. One of its coolest aspects is a maraca-like rattling instrument, which pairs well with the prominent snake architecture featured throughout, like the massive serpent heads that spew the lava you're trying to avoid. Some of the temple's navigation methods can be a bit annoying, but at least you have great music to listen to. <laughs> Wind Temple Theme The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker Although it's not as catchy as many other dungeon themes, the theme of Wind Waker's Wind Temple flawlessly encompasses its ambience. It's a simple arrangement, but in its simplicity lies its genius. The main notes of the woodwinds are slightly off-tempo from the other instruments, making it subtly unsettling. A guitar-like instrument swoops along, bringing a snappy main riff. Meanwhile, understated strings add a small dose of suspense that provides a great partnership with the temple's multitude of traps. A heavy emphasis of woodwind instruments in a wind-themed temple may seem like an obvious choice, but there's no denying how well it all works together. Temple of Droplets theme. The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. The Minish Cap makes great use of the Game Boy Advance's sound design and, in our opinion, reaches its peak with the Temple of Droplets. The dungeon is a dim, lonely, frozen place, and the music naturally highlights those aspects. The percussive bells jingle along, keeping tempo, making us think of snow-draped landscapes. But the melody is far from those of wintry wonderlands. The slow, heavy synth, along with the main string melody, imposes the treacherous nature of the locale. Any ice level in Zelda can be frustrating due to Link's diminished traction, but the deep, dank Temple of Droplets has music that alleviates some of that irritation. Yeah. 
Spirit Temple theme. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. The Spirit Temple has become a fan favorite dungeon due to splitting its time between both versions of Link and its incredible design. Its setting, architecture, and aesthetic were clearly inspired by the Middle East. Just like how Koji Kondo looked to Spanish flamenco music for Gerudo Valley, the Spirit Temple's theme does the same with Middle Eastern instruments. The main melody of the track simulates the duduk, an Armenian woodwind instrument. It's one of the most exceptional links between music and location in the series. The Spirit Temple is a place of worship for a goddess and people disconnected from the rest of Hyrule, and the theme is both mystical and beautiful. Palace Theme Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link You'd be hard pressed to find a player whose favorite Zelda is the second one, but when it comes to the palace theme, you'd be hard pressed to find someone who doesn't adore it. How composer Akita Nakatsuka was able to create something so glorious in 8 bit, we'll never know. And it speaks to how fantastic the track is that hearing it throughout multiple locations never gets tiring. It's upbeat and catchy, yet tinged with a menacing nature. Many of us likely grew to love it through the version heard on the beloved temple stage of Super Smash Bros. Melee, but the original version deserves all the love we can give it. Low Rule Castle Theme the Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. The last dungeon in a Zelda game can ramp up to the final confrontation in a variety of ways, though it's usually from a gameplay perspective. In A Link Between Worlds, however, it's the music that gradually builds into a monumental crescendo. When Link first enters, it's a staccato violin rhythm accompanied by the main melody, here played by a flute. It is ridiculously catchy already, but the higher you climb, the more pieces are added. By the time you reach the last floor, you're jamming to an entire orchestra, impressively belting loudly and surprisingly considering it's coming from a handheld. Part of it also utilizes the classic Hyrule Castle theme, playing it backwards. And speaking of Hyrule Castle... Hyrule Castle Theme, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Hyrule Castle has acted as an important dungeon multiple times throughout the series. Each time, it comes with a triumphant theme. The one that fascinates us the most can be heard in the castle's most recent iteration. The heavy reliance on organ not only makes it sound climactic and epic, but it also incorporates Ganon's theme, primarily the version from Ocarina of Time. At another instance, you can hear Zelda's lullaby, playing into the fact that both characters have been intertwined for a century. The organ is beautiful, and the striking piano notes pierce the melody to stress the forlorn nature of the once mighty kingdom. Stone Tower Temple Theme The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask With puzzles and enemies that require each of Link's forms and how it flips upside down midway through, the Stone Tower Temple is one of the most unique dungeons in the series. Thankfully, it also has one of the best themes. The bass line bobs along merrily while the ocarina melody is endlessly infectious. And yet, there's a sorrow to it personified by the moaning vocals underneath, meant to represent the land of the dead where the dungeon is found. When the tower flips, the track changes to imitate a harpsichord and an accordion. Both versions are extraordinary and help to elevate an already remarkable dungeon. It's impossible for us to hear it and have it not get stuck in our heads. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.